Und wir haben auch weitere Gäste aus Polen da. Da ist die Situation für LGBTIQ mindestens genauso schlimm. Ich darf zuerst Danuta bei mir begrüßen. Welcome. Ich hoffe, ihr sprecht alle genug Englisch. Sprecht ihr alle Englisch? Ist es okay, wenn wir auf Englisch sprechen? Haltet ihr dafür auch 1,5 Meter Abstand? Maske auf! Spot an! Hi Danuta, welcome to Berlin. Danuta, what's, what's your job? You're an activist, LGBTIQ? Yeah, I am activist, LGBTIQ. And what does your work look like? Uh, how do you work as an activist? I mean, I just help uh, people in uh, Poland and also not only LGBT uh, IQ, uh, but uh, only, uh, but also other group of uh, minority like disability, like uh, um, gender, and uh, um, yeah. so I was an expert in a model of uh, equal treatment in Gdańsk also. Okay, you have something prepared for us? Got it. Yes, yes. I, I hold your microphone and you can read. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for invitation, Stefan. Um, I like to say that in Poland in 2020 we have suicide and beating motivated by homophobia. LGBT people are dehumanized by Polish government like uh, 80 years ago. After the Law and Justice Party came into the power, Poland began to experience change in the law. These changes are affecting minority, but in my opinion, Poland did not deserve to be called the most homophobic country in Europe. Historically, in 1932, Poland decriminalized same-sex act by Józef Piłsudski. In 2003, for the first time, Professor Maria Szyszkowska introduced the project of civil partnership in Parliament, approved by Senate. Exactly two years ago, in Gdańsk, consumers voted for the model for 